Hello, I'm Adrian Stewart. Uh, I'm a dentist with special interest in endodontics. That's the science and art of root canal treatment. I would like to address some concerns that some people have regarding root canal treatment. Why keep the tooth rather than have it extracted? Why indeed? We're all meant to have 28 functional teeth in our mouth. Most of us don't have room for our wisdom teeth, so the third motors are generally lost or don't erupt. If we lose a back tooth, that's not the end of the world. Some people will opt to have the tooth extracted. However, for every tooth you lose, you lose the function of the tooth that opposes it. So, if you lose a back tooth, the lower tooth or upper tooth, depending on which tooth has been lost, no longer is a tooth to chew up. The remaining teeth then have more work to do. Now, the loss of one or two teeth isn't going to make a big difference, but over time, as fewer and fewer teeth are left behind, especially with the loss of the major molar chewing teeth, we end up with the smaller teeth doing more work and that's when we start to see teeth fracture. So I'll always advise any patient uh, that they should save the tooth, uh, where it's practical, um, rather than have the tooth extracted. If you do lose the tooth, we have implants available nowadays, but why have an implant when you can save your own natural tooth? Why go through a surgical procedure to replace a tooth that you can save in the first place?